Hello, Dave Parrish here with Knack Builders. Uh, today I'm going to do just a really short case study of a project I did, had help with also, but the topic's going to be how to wrap Knack's functionality into a very attractive uh, website, changing sort of the look and feel of the regular standard Knack stuff, um, basically or embedding it. This will be short. I'm not here to get into the details of embedding and CSS and all the stuff you would might do also in WordPress. Uh, rather, I just want to take you guys through a quick look at what uh, what can be done without a lot of effort and from some help of, of, from folks that know um, website end of it. So here we go. <laughs> project it's a nonprofit in Chicago that helps uh, kids that are graduated from high school who uh, aren't going to college but still want to find a career so this hooks up uh, students uh, advisors at high schools and all the different organizations in the Chicagoland area that provide some sort of training and a lot of these kids may have special needs if they're uh, low income, uh, broken home, had problems with the law. Um, this is what need this fills. But we started off with just building, I built all the back end database parts, all the different related tables and criteria and search functions. And this is a real attractive front end. And then here's a bunch of different uh, ways you can search. So I'm just going to grab one here. I'm in foster care. Click on that. There is a NAC table right here, although it's wrapped within this very attractive website. All this functionality of a, of a table, and we're driving down to get details of it. Um, I'm just going to browse through here. Bear with me more NAC tables in different areas you might. This is a list view, and then you can drive down and get further information. And then you can also, you know, within the WordPress site, uh, there's other widgets and things you can add to it. So in this one, you can grab something and, and say if this was useful or not. They can provide uh, sort of dynamic feedback right there. They can automatically grab something they're interested in or they think someone else is interested in, it automatically grabs the URL and they can email it to someone right through the site. So there's a lot of ways you can make a fairly standard uh, NAC interface look great. Um, all these tables we were looking at are, here's the data structure and the interfaces. This would all just have the normal NAC look, but uh, again, you can, I'm not getting into details, that's another topic, but all the different areas we've grabbed and embedded directly into uh, a site. And we started this, it took a lot, there's a lot going on actually with this app, but at some point we decided, you know what, this, we want to make this look really attractive for the user. It's more of a consumer than a B2B type of thing. Um, and kids too, we needed to make sure they were engaged, so you needed a, a good uh, UI. Um, so we hired someone, uh, and we happened to do it in WordPress, but you could do it any place, who put together the graphics and then all the other functionality. And it's quite seamless. The URL uh, doesn't have NAC in it. I'm sure if a developer drove down in it and got the code, NAC would show up someplace. But uh, this makes a real nice project. So again, point of this video, you can do a lot using NAC and wrapping it in something else. And it looks like a completely professional uh, site all made on its own. And it's not that much work to do it. So keep thinking on what to do out there. Appreciate your time today. Thank you.